up my AoE Anarchist Resident Dragon here with a fun tutorial video on an interesting idea that I came across. Uh, thank you, Poop Lord, for the idea, and that is Double Barracks Celts. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the Celts, let's go into their civ a little bit. Their infantry move about 15% faster, their lumberjacks work 15% faster, of course the infantry, that starts in the feudal age. Siege weapons fire 25% faster, and they can steal sheep, and sheep can... and sheep within one Celt unit's line of sight cannot be stolen. Unique unit is the Wood Raider. We're going to get into that in a moment. <clears throat> then we have Stronghold for our unique text, where castles and towers fire 33% faster. Castles heal allied infantry in a 7-tile radius. If you're a Celtica, the Imp Tech is uh, Siege Workshop units are 40% HP. Very good late game. Siege workshops work 20% faster. So a lot of siege civilization here, infantry and siege. So that's kind of like what we're going for with this. So what we try to do with this strat is we try to get two we try to take advantage of the lumberjacks working faster and get down two barracks and just start spamming, pumping out infantry. But as you're going to see in this particular game, uh, I definitely have to get a lot more aggressive when it comes to pressing and getting into that. So uh, we're going to get into the game and check it out. Okay, here we go. So we're going to speed it up a little bit, just so you can see what I see. This is my line of sight. We are against Krosovok, a uh, player from Russia, playing the Magyars, which are a uh, primarily an, um, a cavalry sieve. But they do have some very interesting bonuses themselves. They get free uh, blacksmith melee backs, blacksmith upgrades. So like blast furnace becomes free and all those sorts of things become free. So this is a uh, so that's uh, so that's their strap. Bringing in the boar. See there. Now again, kind of the big thing for me is oh yeah, I made a mistake there with the uh, the mill. Uh, built a house instead. Yeah, my idle TC time, not, not not terrible at the moment. Bringing in another Bowery. Didn't get rid of that one first. Vil coming in, Loom coming in. All those sorts of things. And here I do idle it quite a bit because I'm trying to get up to Feudal and there we go. Alright, so 46 seconds, not terrible. Not to... Uh, to quote the guy from Chernobyl, not the, not great, not terrible. And now we go into our meme strat with the double barracks. We get a gold, gold mining camp down, or gold mine down. Yeah, mining camp down. And eh, we idle for a few seconds, and then we just spam vills. And the problem is, is I forget to do the... Uh, I forget to do uh, houses. So, all right. Oh no, there, there we go. There's the house. There are the houses coming. In. So, <laughs> I gotta get better at that. All right. So again, it's kind of a meme strat. Um, it's it's designed for almost like a fastish castle sort of thing, and that's ultimately what I would love to try to do with with Celts is get up to as you see uh, men at arms coming in. Uh, with the Celts, I would definitely love to see uh, some. A fast castle action on that. So, uh, double bit coming in for me. Man at arms are in. Gotta start producing. And I do start walling off. They they go with the gold mining. I don't even do the gold mining, to be completely honest. And yeah, you get out of my camp, Dagnabbit. Got some spears coming in as well, and we got some <clears throat> palisade walls. Probably a little bit too big, but it's what it is. Um, so yeah, de definitely got to get a lot better with thing and idling the TC. Still, still kind of an issue for me. Um, you know, live and learn, I guess. But right here is where we really, I really have to get better. Is you know, once I start getting the the production units out, just start pushing, keep pushing forward. And again, idle TC, not good. Even though they're at twenty five, 
I am at 24. They, yeah, all right. So now they're 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 back at it. So if I had taken advantage, if I had been paying more attention to all that, I don't know what I was paying attention. Oh, you know what I was paying attention to? I'm trying to get the palisades up. That's what was distracting me. So. All right, supplies coming in. I do think that's and that is part of the build. You know, that is part of the build is is are, are the supplies. So Man, I out of my TC way too much. Way too much. Supplies coming in. Some people say, "Ah, that's a waste." But you know what? You want to you want to get some you want to get your cheap you want to get your your militias out as cheap as possible. Um Still idling the TC. Not good. But as you see, they're not too far behind me, but here's where I probably could have taken advantage. So so for those of you that are watching, please make sure you're you're, you're not idling the TC very much. So here they got a bunch of scouts. They're ready to scout rush me. Um, they're going to get some interesting surprises, though. Uh, finally, I get a vill going. I think this, this, is, this was a game I had a lot of problems with when it came to... Uh, when it came to idling the TC, um, just really had a ton of issues with it. But anyways, all right, so they're 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 coming in with a scout rush, and I actually do wall off before they get there. A little bit of a small base, but that's okay because we do we do venture outside eventually. Um, but here I'm more focused on spamming my units. But again, it's only so good. Uh. It, it, again, they're only so good if they're, uh, you know, being being pushed forward. So, but they come back to to do some wreck in there. So there we go. All right. So there we go. So so we get the, we get the idle TC back. A little bit more, but here, you know. Also, too, I, I I do put a watchtower here just so I can gain get my uh, 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 gold uh, protected and whatnot. So, and but in the wood line, that's that's actually not a bad strat right there. So, and here they they go after the palisade wall, but these guys come in and, and, and do some nice cleanup duty. So. Got more stable. Oh, they got you know market coming in stable or blacksmith coming in there. We get. Uh, we don't have the blacksmith up yet. And notice here too. I start to. Uh, and I do clean up the army pretty nicely there. So, but again, just start spamming. Uh, you know that that's the big thing is you know you just start spamming the. Uh, you just gotta start spamming the the militia and stuff. So. That's kind of the big, because again, these militia are fast. They are very quick. And also, too, yeah, I overload on gold, and I realize that way, 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 way too early. I'm floating so much gold here. Um, but I do abuse the market eventually when I get a market up. Oh, yeah, I do have a market up. All right, how about that? And blacksmith is up and all those things. So no, no upgrades yet, but there we go. So now I start buying the food for the gold, and this is where I think I really start to, uh, nope, maybe not. Yeah, that's where I start spamming the man at arms. That's where I really start coming in. So I mean, this strategy does have some merit to it. Um, I think that you know maybe I just just not. Yeah, let's see. There's twelve there. All right. So so there's eight there. With some spears thrown in. Um, but again, you got to get the upgrades. You know, that's the big thing is with with this build, you got to make sure you get the upgrades. Um, they got the barding armor coming in, of course. So here we start to, uh, you know, they're they're nice and walled off. If I had gone around the side, and again scouting, I I, I should have done a better job scouting. Cause here, what do I see? Oh, I do see this, and I do think eventually I do get there. But yeah, and, and notice this little crabby patty right there. It's a dice, not up or die. I don't care if you're endangered. And again, idling the TC. With no upgrades coming in. That's not a good thing. 
So yeah, you gotta make sure you get the upgrades coming in. So here we retreat, because we want to regroup. We want to try to regroup. And notice, we're just still spamming these man at arms. And oh my gosh, we go forward with this. I, I, and again, that is where I got to get more aggressive. See, they're already going castle. And that's, that, that, that's really where I've got to get a lot more aggressive with this build, is spamming these things is, is, is one thing, and also getting the upgrades. Finally, the forging comes in. Finally, the forging comes in, but we're 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 bad when it comes to the uh, the idle TC time. But here, I think you know, with that castle age being what it is, um, I do think we're we're not in the most terrible of shapes. Thirty-four to thirty-four vils. But again, now here is where we start to uh, here's where we have to start to. to but look at this. We have like twenty-two man at arms and a scout. We should be pushing forward. Dragon, what are you doing? Oh. oh, man. Man, man, man. Aye. Life A. And we're just patrolling. I think we're just... I think that's the problem. Is like, I'm so used to playing defense. And now here we go. Here we start marching forward. Here we start marching forward. Because now I start getting the armor upgrades and all those things. And we have man at arm. They have man at arms. We've got man at arms. Um, yeah, so, but here I think I try, do I try going the other way? Oh, um, no, I don't fake them out, but, oh yeah, now here they go, there. So they advance to castle, we just start, you know, wrecking for them. Their bow saw comes in. And now we just start... We, we take out their barracks, actually. We do, we do level the barracks, but again, it's really close to the TC, so we have to... You know, we do get that going. Check that out. I mean, we we, we just started... In the, yeah, they, 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 get, they get the knights coming in. And here I just get... I, I think I micro too much here. I don't go after their... Notice, we don't have any uh, eco kills. We have no eco kills whatsoever. And I, they, they don't let us have the barracks. But also, too, their, uh, their res collection. And now we do go up to castle. Uh, way more... But we have more value. As far as... We're, we're getting more value out of it. Uh, do I get the barracks? Yes, I do. No! I don't even get the barracks! Oh my gosh. Terrible. It's down... How many hit points is that at? That's seriously at 22 friggin' hit points. And I let it stand. Really? Pardon my language, but oh my god. It's pretty god awful there, dragon. God awful. More spears coming in. <laughs> I think I learned my lesson with the spears and stuff, but but oh my gosh, I can't believe I let that stand. I can't believe I let that stand. And notice too, we are at 39 vils. We're each at 39 vils, so. Yeah. So, ugh. That, I, I cannot believe I let that barrack stand. I cannot believe that. Now, yeah, he's got more kills than I do, but notice, too, we don't have a lot of eco kills. We have no eco kills at all. So that also is a big thing. Like with this strat, you want to get in as early as possible because of the fact that you know you get some some nice eco kills. And I just start spamming spears. I don't know why I start spamming spears. I think because I see their their cav. That's exactly what I see. I see their cav, and we just go from there. Some vills coming in. We got a mining camp going. Actually, do you think I get enough eventually? Yeah. So here we go. So they start abusing their, uh, they start abusing their uh, eco as well. So, and I do get arson. This is a very underrated, and especially if you're playing a cav sieve, um, this can do a ton of damage in 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 a short amount of time. So you know you you get this in, and I do want to try to go for my pike. Um, 
upgrades. But notice here too, now I've got seven Vils queued up and, my, and I'm starting to get back on track here. Um, their value is going up a little bit. They've got more knights than I do. They've got some men-at-arms, but also too... Okay, and this, the pikes do come in. And here we get another TC going, so we get some more production up and, up and running. And their idle TC starts going way up. Actually, gonna take off the fog of war. Yeah, so they get that there, and eventually, you know, you regroup, pikes come in, no forging, or no, no casting yet, or iron casting. They start to also produce their... I actually go with the university, uh, simply because I was going for, um... You, know, you want to try and get, like, siege engineers and stuff, which I completely forgot I had. Um, but anyways... It's your typical low elo game. And they patrol there. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but all right. So we get more man at arms coming in, and eventually, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get the, uh, we're trying to get a, a stone going so we can get a castle, and that's kind of the big, the, the big thing that we want to get, get across. But again, with this build, you have to, have to, have to, have to push and get aggressive early, 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 early. See, look, we got all these, we got 23, 24, 25. We got an army of 25. And, yeah, they go for long swordsmen. Uh, I don't know if I get that one quite yet. No, I'm still at man-at-arms. Um, but we do have to... We do have to get that eventually. The problem is I got a way too one-dimensional. One, way too one-dimensional in this game. But also, too, they start to produce... And that's why it's so important to have a, a, a TC that's humming along. And also, too, I think I, I, I took a new... Oh, yeah, and here I go to the side. Here I go to the side. I start to... I go this way. Instead of going in right in here, I go around. So I learned this time. And now here I start getting eco kills and all that stuff. So they should have taken an aggressive stance. I think they were following my orders yet. Yeah, so down goes the knight. And we get some vil... I think we finally do get a few vils here. Yep, we do. Sweet. And we take care of their stone for... We take out their mining camp, so how cool is that? I think. I, I better not do what I did last time. This is where the arson comes in to play. Start getting this, and then... Alright, so we have... We have we have Vils coming in, so... Good stuff. And now... Oh yeah, we just wait for the knights. But the knights just kind of lead us away. That's not a good fight for him to take, so... But here's where I start to think, oh, I might have a chance at this. I might have a chance at this game. Um, but then more knights come in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This doesn't, this may not be good. Because because here, I still need to get my, oh, no, I do have my upgrades. But I, the problem is, is I'm doing a lot when it comes to... Um, I'm doing a lot with a a, a, a a feudal age army, and I'm not upgrading what I need to. I do have my two TCs up, and I do have a few stragglers behind, but um, as you can see, I've got only eight to there. So, so I mean, we're, we're still fairly even, but now I go for the castle drop. And my point is this, I want to try to get at this gold source here. I want to try to deny them the resource, get in their face, start building and taking advantage of the next part. I got Gambison's coming in and Long Swordsman is coming in. Um, but now I start to take advantage of the next part of the Celts repertoire, which is, of course, Siege. And this is where we start to gain a little bit of an advantage. I say little bit, but... This castle, he's got to, they, they've got to figure out how to uh, uh, deny this. Um, but as you can see, we got the long swordsman. There's the knight. There are the man at arms. They defend very well. And they come in, and that's how you do it. They go imp before we do. And yes, spoiler alert, we do get to imp. We do get to imp in this game. So that's, I think it's the first time I've made it to imp. 
uh, e uh, ever. But yeah, we got the long swordsmen. Uh, their long swordsmen are, are pretty much pretty much the same. The knight comes in. In here, the the uh, the, the siege. And then we do end up going back and taking that guy out. Uh, but also notice too, eco kills. They have they have several eco kills now. Um, but then these these herbs come in right here and start to start to wreck. And we get, look at all these mangoes coming out. Now had I I got and again this is where I've got to get better at my game, where I really 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 have to improve at my game is. Oh yeah, and all the wood raiders come in. I, I gotta work at like garrisoning and, 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 and waiting for that right moment to to start to start to go house. So but also notice too, they got a lot of knights coming in. We've got a lot of wood raiders coming in. But now here's where it starts to get ugly. Because mangoes are not the most uh, they are not the most maneuverable, and they just get picked off right as they come out. Right as they come out, they just start getting picked off. But the Wold Raiders do kind of take take the brunt of it. And yeah, the Blacksmith may go down here, but... Now here is where I think, you know, once again, I think that, you know, they, they go Imp. I have way too many things on gold. Way too many things. Um, but again, you know, you want to try to... Yeah, the blacksmith may go down here, but... but... The Wood Raiders are incredibly fast. They keep up with the, uh... They keep up with the, uh... Uh, the cavalry. I try to make the Celts eat TC, but it doesn't quite work. Because the problem is, these guys, I forgot to have them guard. And they just, they, yeah, there's no stopping that. No stopping that. We do go up to Imp, by the way. The blacksmith, does the blacksmith even go down? I don't know, I think maybe moral victory, I guess, is where I'm, I'm at right at this point. So yeah, the blacksmith does go down. And now I start producing scorps. <laughs> so. And I try to take down the barracks that I came within 22 hit points of taking down earlier, but. But also, too, their knights just come in, and there's a lot more value in them. Yes, we do go imp. The problem becomes now they got trebs. <laughs> and that's where we start. This is where we start to, to lose the thread of the game. So, um, as you can see, though, yeah, the world raiders do come in. But, you know, the, at this point, yeah, I'm going to fast forward it because, yeah, so. But anyways, so I, I, I do think that. Yeah, we held out for, for quite a while. You know, we absolutely did hold out for quite a while. Um, but of course, they start getting the better units. Um, I do get murder holes, I think. But I I decide to throw in the towel there. So, uh, Anyways, I felt like this game was one of our better ones. I mean, yeah, we, we were even, even, even Elos. We're not anymore. I'm, I lost a few more after this one. Or I lost another one after this one, uh, I should say. Um, but I do have to say that, you know, military, yeah, we probably could have been a little bit better there. Eco, we were pretty equal. Um, but again, I think with this particular one also too, I want to say I got more raisings than they did and we had a higher army count. So I, I, I was, I'm proud of that part.
part of that part. Collected more wood, of course, because that's what the the, the Celts do. Uh, floated a lot of gold, and that's, again, an area that I need to, to really, really improve upon. We hit feudal before they did, uh, just to tick over 10 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, I am going to say I played a game after this, and I tried pushing deer, and it did not work. I was just like, I, I was just so focused on the deer, and, the, and there was the, uh, the, the, the people where, where that. Oh, and by the way, that's not Ferris DW. That was, uh, uh, uh. It was not fair, SDW. I don't know why it said that, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, there it is, Krosvok. That that that's who I played against. I don't know why it did that, but anyways. Uh, society, we did put more villagers out there. Um, I'm curious about the military. Did I get killed to deaths? Um, yeah, he only they only took down one, but even still, uh, we probably may have had more there had we. Uh, had we taken out the uh, uh, the barracks early on, uh, actions per minute we were I was I was better with actions per minute by one, but you know they had more eco. I was better with military. The big thing, the big thing, the big 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 thing. I wanna I wanna see if I can get that quite a bit. Um, the big thing though is like when we go back to uh, actually I'm gonna pause it there. The big thing is is when you have the double barracks when you have the double barracks and you amass your man-at-arms and all those sorts of things. Send them forward! Get those going, you know, get those going as soon as you possibly can. You know, really, really do. Because once you hit feudal, uh, they become faster, and they can keep up with, with, you know, they can really take down archer sieves uh, if you play them right. Now, of course, after this game, I played against the Turks, and I got archer rushed, and it was, it was, it was pretty terrible. But uh, I think diversity need, needs a little more diversity. I needed more... Uh, I think I stuck too close to the plan, stuck too close to the script on this one. So, uh, anyways, double Barrett Celts. I like the idea. I think it's I think it's a fun fun thing to do. I'm gonna try it with Malay as well because they they're an infantry sieve and and can do some fun things. But overall, I'm gonna take this one. Even though I lost, I'm gonna take this one as a win. Uh, shout out to everyone in the uh, community that's helped me out over the past few weeks and months. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep going with this. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a video tomorrow. We'll try to make Kelty TC. But until then, my AoE anarchists, happy hunting. See you on the battlefield. Risen Dragon is out. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.